Hello folks, uh, we're just going to do a quick tutorial on how to update your availability in CallBot 2.0. So first thing you're going to do is view the My Availability page. Uh, it's right next to Callouts in the top menu. And you're going to land on this screen and you have a default availability set across the board. And if you scroll uh, the months here you'll notice that it repeats into the future but we don't want to get called for shifts that were not available to work so we want to edit this um, now availability set up in blocks of availability and it can be created or deleted you can't actually change one that already exists and we do this so that we can track changes and and make sure that people are getting called for the shifts that they're entitled for um, so yeah, so we're going to delete this, and there it's gone, and now uh, by default you can create 31 days in advance from the current day. You can change this, but I'll get back to that in a minute. So we're going to choose the kinds of shifts that we want. I want to be available for days and evenings. And we're just going to click each day that we want. We can also mix and match. Say I want to be available for day shifts on the 24th and the 23rd and the 22nd only. And we save that. And you'll notice it's saved. And you'll notice the color in the calendar matches the color in, in your list of availability blocks below. Uh, now, if you try to create a conflict, you're going to get a little uh, red X that'll tell you, hey, you can't make more availability here. You already have some. You've got to resolve that conflict. Um, now, if I want to keep going into the future, I can change the start date. So I'm going to change the start date to June 30th and say I'm going to make it uh, evening shifts. So, just click on that into the future. And we just paint it in. We hit save. And there you have it. We got availability uh, evenings starting on June 30th. Now, this is good enough for most people, but some people have point nines or they just want to repeat the same availability into the future. We can do that too. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to set my start date to July 30th. No, July 31st. There we go. And I'm going to set up one to repeat weekly. And um, you can mix and match on these as well. And we'll scroll into the next month. And you can see that those patterns repeat weekly indefinitely into the future. And we save that. And you can see, there it is. Starting on July 31st into the future, you got repeating availability in the same every week. Uh, so I'll get rid of that, and we'll try it again so I can demonstrate the bi-weekly. Now, bi-weekly is really useful because lots of Rain City shifts repeat uh, uh, bi-weekly. Uh, lots of people have point nines and stuff that, that have sort of patterns, uh, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then they have a couple days off. So... I can set it up so that I say I only want to work Thursday, Friday nights on week one, and uh, I only want to be available for day shifts on Thursday, week two. Save that, and you can see that the pattern repeats in the future. Um, now, if you think you haven't been called for shifts, uh, or, or you just want to view like what availability you had and deleted, we can do that too. Um, 
Now this one is July 31st, so right. And you can see that we have this repeating availability in July and August here. That that we had uh, previously deleted. So we can go in and view those. And uh, that is availability in a nutshell. Hopefully it's uh, a little bit easier than the current system. And yeah, hopefully folks uh, manage to get a grasp on things. Uh, thanks for watching.